It's 2007 at one of the busiest emergency departments in the city. Welcome to the emergency department at Truman Medical Center, a vital component to the Metro's safety net healthcare system. But what happens when an emergency department is too busy? When the demand for services exceeds the ability to serve? That was the problem Truman Medical Centers, or TMC, faced this past decade. We admit patients to the hospital, but there's no hospital beds to put them in, so they end up sitting in the ER taking up beds that other patients that we might see would be able to use. To complicate matters, overcrowding at Western Missouri Mental Health pushed even more patients into the TMC emergency department. What has happened in the past when there isn't access is that the people end up on the streets, people end up in jails, people end up going to shelters, and they don't get the care and treatment that they need. Enter a new chapter for TMC, one that began in 2008. A grant from the Healthcare Foundation of Greater Kansas City injected the hospital with a $7.5 million shot of adrenaline, one that boosted the productivity and the quality of patient care at this Hospital Hill landmark. TMC also improved intensive care unit access, impacting the more than 80% of inpatients whose point of entry is the emergency department. And so what that means is that psychiatric patients who used to stay in medical beds now are receiving services in a psychiatric emergency department where they get the kind of care and treatment that they need. The hospital also converted 10 intermediate care telemetry beds to full intensive care beds. It converted more than 30 regular beds to monitored beds and it replaced over a hundred obsolete regular inpatient beds. A profound example of the impact that the beds have made on the care of patients at Truman Medical Center involve a patient that we had in the ICU. This gentleman was so critically ill, he spent almost an entire year with us. And at the end of that year, in spite of all of the things and challenges that he had, his skin was perfectly intact at the end of his stay. And that's something we might not have accomplished had we not had the new bed technology. That story is typical of the kind of patient care results that TMC is producing. We're now in a position to provide premium and optimal care to the population of patients that use Truman Medical Center services who would not normally have access to this level of care and this quality of an environment. 